Hello up bags, it's Jade, welcome to a grounded video. Grounded update should be going live today on the test live servers and I'm looking lightly like they're going to be adding Xbox test servers as well so everyone will get to experience the brand new content which I am pretty sure is going to be the pond update. Now we've been down this path before, if you don't know I was actually the first person to show all of the dev stuff in videos and content. I got the codes, I found it on Reddit, some other people give me some help on Discord, and I pretty much showed all of the Pond Coy stuff, the brand new laboratory that was added, as well as all the weapons, the armor pieces, etc. So that was a good few months ago. The devs ended up removing it because obviously it was just for testing and it wasn't gonna be coming out very soon. And they didn't want everyone getting too hyped. And I admit, I probably got a bit overhyped thinking the content was going to come pretty soon and I'm pretty glad we did show it though because it did mean that it showed there's lots more coming to Grounded. I think a big complaint and I reckon this is fair, a lot of you guys are saying there's not enough to do in Grounded at the moment and these monthly updates we've had have been good but have been still a little bit small fry compared to maybe big content that's going to keep you interested in playing the game. The game is a little bit limited at the moment, there just isn't enough to do once you've got the story out of the way and once you've done a few things, it definitely needs something like a pet system or some sort of other meta to keep you going. Anywho, Test Live servers going live today. They put this out on Twitter. I told you guys about this on Saturday and it pretty much says they're going live today. It's looking likely, if you've never tried this, you'll have to download a completely new Test Live version of Grounded on the Xbox. On PC, you have to switch between the two. I don't think you can actually run both at the same time, which kind of sucks, but at least it's not a massive, huge game. But on Xbox, it's a bit like PUBG and Sea of Thieves. If you've ever played any of them, they both had Test Live servers or they still do and you can pretty much download them so you don't have to switch between any versions normally it's an extra version on the xbox and then before we get into what is going to maybe be in today's update we've got to talk about when the update is going to drop for everyone so maybe you don't want to do any test servers or if they don't actually add it to xbox you're going to still be waiting for the actual update to go live properly I'm still going to predict it and say it's going to be early November, guys. If you don't know, they've been updating pretty much every Wednesday since they pretty much started. Unfortunately, Halloween at the end of the month is on Saturday this year. And they've obviously got the Halloween jack-o'-lantern and some of the other bits. So it'd be a bit weird to remove that content two days or three days before the end of Halloween. Also, this is a huge update. Again, not 100% confirmed, but it does look like it is going to be a lot of the water content. If you go and take a look at the features board, you will see there's so much of that stuff that's blue. It's been promises coming in the next few months, and it's been a few months now. So I am going to say it is this content. It doesn't look like there's any other content that looks like it could be added right now. The rest is kind of planned for the future. It hasn't been highlighted as actually being worked on right now. So I'm going to say it. the update will not go live this week or next week officially for everyone unless you're playing on test servers it will go live for everyone i reckon the early beginning of november around the oh i'm gonna say around the fourth or fifth of november something like that i do believe whatever wednesday that is that's when i think we're gonna get it they probably need a couple more weeks to really test this also if you tried the other recent update you'll know there was loads of problems on xbox they needed like two or three hot fixes spread out over two weeks and there were just loads of people complaining that they couldn't get into their game their worlds were wiped things kept crashing and so this is what these test servers need to be on they need to be on xbox Xbox where most of the problems seem to be happening a lot more and just FYI they don't really update on Saturdays the Microsoft cert team don't really work on the weekends unless it's a real emergency like a hot fix for something so that's why I don't think the update is going to launch on the 31st and that's why I also think it's not going to happen until the beginning of November and it's not the end of the world they did say they're going to try and get updates out every single month but you know sometimes delays happen and I'd rather have a week delay so that they actually get some feedback and actually fix a lot of stuff before pushing it out for everyone. And I would assume it's pretty obvious, but maybe if you're a bit younger or you haven't really played around with some of these test servers, you don't really normally transfer or carry your progress over. So on PC, you can load up some of the test live servers, but it tells you this is a wrong version. So don't expect to go onto a test live server and see your base that you've built and everything there. You may have to start from scratch on the test live ones. Oh, here we go. I had to get all that out, guys, because some of you guys really complain that I don't talk enough about what I think about the updates or, you know, when's this coming, when's that happening. So hopefully I'll give you the full picture and now let's crack on to what we can expect to see. 
So under the main features and listed literally is coming in the next few months, they've got the Koi Pond environment. So this is going to be a brand new area for you to go and explore, obviously revamped. We know we've got the pond there and it's got the flying discman, but there's actually going to be a secret laboratory there, which I've taken you all the way through as well. So if you want to go and take a look at it, go and see what the general premise is. There will be changes. I think they'll update a lot, but that's the general thing that to gain access to this lab, you're going to have to do a certain thing. I'm not going to spoil it in this video, but you are going to have to gain access to that lab or power it up in some way then after that we've obviously got loads of new items that's what we're going to be adding in terms of weapons and armors it looks like it's going to come from the koi fish now i'm hoping the koi fish is finished and we will get all these armors and weapons they have said it's their biggest update to date and it will give you like the next tier it's going to be like real tier three stuff some of this maybe even tier four and then we've also got other stuff that they've said as blue in progress they're going to have more additional crafting stations they're going to have inventory management improvements and they're going to add more signs and more stickers and that would make sense since every chip we found so far the burgle chips now give you some stickers or signs so the stickers are pretty new so i'm guessing that's going to come in as well interestingly a creator one of the devs from grounded spoke to me in one of the modded discords and said he's going to make it so that you can add the signs on the floor so you'll be able to place them on the floor because i said it would be cool to have it like a checkerboard where we could put the sign pictures on the floor and we'd be able to play games and he said they couldn't see any reason why we couldn't add it so that's good stuff and that means that's coming as well so big shout out to him for green to do that i don't know if it's going to be now but he said that's something they're looking at they will be able to do also they've got new creatures we've got the bee and yes we know they're looking likely it's going to be around the flowers the roses we're presuming that anyway unless they change their minds and it's not going to be a dangerous creature unless you provoke it so it'll just do its own business but if you go and hit it or attack it it will start attacking you and of course there's all the bee armor we'll be able to get the full bee armor instead of the rotten bee armor that we've got in the anthill this full B armor, again, I've showed you guys in smaller videos already when I had all this stuff leaked. It's going to give you a buff that you take pretty much no full damage. So a little bit like the perk recently, it does look like they've moved that. Now again, things may change. They may have decided not to have full damage on the B perk, on the B armor. But that's what's going to happen if it's full B armor. And obviously it's going to be a tier 3 armor set. So it's going to be a much bigger, better armor set than some of the other stuff. And then again, according to the main features, we're going to have the Mosquito. Now, I think some of these items might end up not being in this update. I just got a feeling. But the Mosquito looks probably the most undeveloped. The bees were there. They were flying around. They looked like they had the AI, though, of the gnats. But the Mosquito kind of looks very unfinished. It didn't have the final polish, the final bit of colouring on it. it. That isn't what it's meant to look like. That is literally just their first sort of attempt at getting it in the game. So it's going to look a bit different, I think. Also, a bit like, I guess, the larvae. The larvae, when it was first in sort of the beta or the demo, it was kind of just white ants. They hadn't actually had a model for it. And then it changed into the really scary stuff with all the creepy little legs. Now, the mosquito is going to be dangerous, so you are going to have to be avoiding it and be careful. It looks pretty ferocious with that stinger. And, of course, we're going to be using that stinger to make some of the weapons in the game as well. So that's what I think is going to happen. So we're going to have two new creatures, I think, the mosquito, the bee, or three if you include the koi fish. And then obviously there's even more creatures under the water. Now it doesn't actually say completely on the main features board that we're having more than creatures. It just says the koi pond environment. So we might not necessarily get all the other creatures, but I think we will. So the other creatures are the diving bell spider. This is a obviously a version of the spider and it will fly around or swim around in the water and it's going to be pretty dangerous still. Then we've got the Water Strider and the Water Boatman. Now the Water Strider again looks a bit like the Mosquito. It doesn't look like it's had its final polish or pass. So expect it to look a bit different. More colours added to it. They didn't really move around. They just sat on the lily pads and didn't really do anything when you attacked them. So I'm guessing that's going to change as well. And they'll probably get dangerous if you do attack them. Then we've got the Water Boatman. And this is like a little creature. It looks like it's got almost an oxygen pocket underneath it so maybe there's a way you can get oxygen from it and it kind of just goes floating up and down again lots could change with this don't know if it's 100 percent but it is looking likely it's going to be another creature that may not really attack you unless you attack it 
Then we've also got leeches, and these are really, really just to make my skin crawl a little bit. Uh, they're going to be obviously pretty dangerous if you start attacking them. I think they'll attack you as well. They're pretty hard to get though, so you're going to need a lot of these creatures to make a lot of the new tiered items, and it's going to just add another huge layer of stuff to do in Grounded. For veterans of the game, though, we've been playing it for months now, you've kind of got everything done. You're building your huge, massive motorways of grass across the backyard. This may still seem a little bit small, but I think this is really going to add a lot of content to it, especially when you've got activate all the stuff you're going to need to make oxygen potions you're going to need to take advantage of the oxygen bubbles underneath so lots of good stuff oh i nearly forgot about the tadpoles as well these guys again you're going to need some of this stuff to make certain things yeah and it'll be i think you can eat them or is that just the water flea meat the water flea that's the other thing that got added a little while ago that was surprised to see that i don't think we're going to see necessarily them running around the water pond they may be just restricted just to the swamp area i could be wrong but yeah the tadpoles they're going to be in the game as well and again you're going to need them and they look like they're not going to be a dangerous creature either so yeah i don't know things could change maybe they're going to make the leeches super aggressive the diving bell spiders are definitely aggressive um, and maybe they will make some of the other creatures the koi fish we don't know if it it's really aggressive or not we know we've got to get scales from it we know we can kill it but it didn't seem to pay any attention during the early stages when i showed this gameplay off or leaked it so yeah i can't imagine they're going to make it super dangerous i kind of want some of the creatures to drag you under the water so that it makes your oxygen run out so they're not necessarily too malicious where they're going to try and eat you but maybe that would be something they can do where they drag you down and that's how you can die and that creates even more challenge and that's what I think is going to happen today, guys. I don't think we're going to get the roly polies. I don't think we're going to get fireflies or anything else like that. I think that's going to be the next big update, maybe in a couple of months' time. I think this is going to be their big one pretty much all the way till December now. And then maybe at the end of December, January, we'll get another big update. So there we go guys, I'll be live later on today, as soon as the update goes live, I'm predicting it's going to be around 6pm UK time, around 10am, that's what I've done in the past, or maybe a little bit later, maybe they'll do about 8pm in UK and around 12 p.m. in the USA times I guess and I'll keep you guys posted so make sure you join in my discord you follow me on twitter I always tweet and retweet this kind of stuff and I'll see you very soon for more proper analysis and details of everything in the update today 